Hey there, first graders. Welcome to another video lesson, week 48. Bonus. What we're going to make today, here's the middle of my page, is a long bump. This is going to be the head. This will be the tail. It's going to be a stegosaurus, one of the dinosaurs. I'm going to work on that head. I'm going to make a bump. Make a bump. Make that neck. Here's that tail. Something like that. Head, eyes, mouth. This is the bump. There's his tail. Next, I'm going to make a line down over, make a big foot. Just keeping it simple. One. I'm going to make his belly. There's another foot. There's two feet. Make another foot. Another foot. Okay. Then, I'm going to make they have those shapes on their back, don't they? So I'm going to make two lines that go up. And then I'm going to connect them. Kind of like a triangle shape. I'll do another one. Two lines go up, and then I connect them. They're going to get smaller as they come towards the neck, I think. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And as they go down the tail, they get smaller too, I think. Yep, and then they just stop. At the On the tail, he's going to have really sharp points. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Four little sharp ones. I'm going to give him... Toenails, just two bumps in the front of his toes. Then, on his back, I'm going to make some like stripes, some little triangle striped. And when it gets to the tail, they're going to get really small. How about that? Wicked. Got a lot going on here. Then, I'm going to give him a couple spots. And his eyes. How about we make a big shape for his eye? Big pupil shape, little nose hole, little mouth. He's smiling. That little guy. Okay. Next, I want to make a line for my horizon line. That tells me where the sky hits the earth. This is land and this is sky above that line. So I need that line. Okay. And then I'm ready to introduce some colors. And now I get to have some fun. Uh, uh, what colors do I want to use, though? Hmm. I'm going to make him mostly a light green, as which is becoming a trend. On my lizard, lizard, reptilian drawings. I've been doing a lot of light green. Drawing dinosaurs and it's kind of fun because like an animal that's not really around at all and has some ancestors or, that you can still see, some like Komodo dragons and like even like little lizards, you can see some similarities in those different creatures. Kind of cool. I'm not really sure if this is a totally accurate having these stripes. Sure that the, uh, and I'm not sure what color that the shapes on their back would be either, but it's kind of fun to be creative and create our own design for an animal that's not around anymore, right? Because he's extinct. I feel like orange would be a nice color somewhere, but I don't know. I'm gonna use a dark green on the stripes on his back. I don't want the colors to be too crazy. I want to make those big spots green. 
They're kind of cartoon looking spots on the back and the side. Making these here. Okay. Now, what color should those things be? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna use some orange on the ground. I'm gonna make it kind of sandy. I'm gonna do this orange first. I'm not pressing real hard. I'm just kind of going real light. I'm gonna use some yellow. And I'm gonna use some browns on the ground. Try to kind of make this sandy looking. Prehistoric. Yeah, it's bright. Yeah. Okay. Nice browns. for them spikes hmm what do you think hmm maybe a yellowish green you think I'm gonna put yellow first hope we don't mess this up yeah it's okay all right need something else so it's too plain what do I want to do for the background sky too what am I gonna do? So that's what yellow will look like. Needs, I'm gonna put some green there. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna make his toenails yellow. Ew, yellow fingernails. Alright, then I'm just gonna make the sky red or orange. How about a reddish? Red orange. Yep. I'm just gonna make it bright red. Because it's gonna be like a sunset, but also the opposite of green is red, so I'm just gonna kinda. That'll help make my green look a little brighter and it will be a simple, easy background that's going to make my dinosaur be the focal point, which it is totally because it's the only thing that I'm putting in here. I'm not doing anything crazy in the background because I want it to be simplified. So I don't want to have distractions of too much going on in my picture or too much in the background. And for my background, ooh, a nice big black. I'm going to make the pupils black. I'm going to outline. I'm going to 
little dinosaur. Put a couple of lines, like there's um, texture on those giant shields on his back. I guess they'd be like shields, wouldn't they? Kind of protect him. It's like a, a big dinosaur can't sneak up and bite him on the back or something because they got these giant spikes that'll hurt him, hurt their mouth. I think that's what those are for. I guess that'd be an adaptation, something that would. Come up over time as, as for protection. I should put a little shadow underneath him. There he is. There's my little cartoony dinosaur. I look forward to seeing how yours turns out. Good luck.